لا مش بوه المكان بروح kids and he come here every day to collect stones and he get 20 shekels a day. Yes, I'm going to get 20 shekels. Why do you feel like they're in the house? Why do you feel like they're in the house? Why do you feel like they're in the house? Why do you feel like they're in the house? He's saying that the 20 shekels are not enough for getting food to, to his family, to even to, to, to the donkey that carrying him here every day. Or Every day, sorry? Yeah, he come here every day to collect stones, but he's still afraid, but he have to do that because he must provide money to his family. Now he's saying that if he find another job or anything to do, he will, be, he will just go into that and leave, uh, collect his stones and things like that. But no one, no one cares about them, no one come to them and ask them if they need anything, if they provide them some work or anything, nothing. But if he if he find an opportunity or anything, he will go for it. Hello, Keith Alec. Yeah, he's saying that he used to, to work in a factory, but because the sage and everything, there's no materials to get there, so he lost his job. And he have doing this for like um, five or six months. Is there is there any other work at all? Is 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 this the only work? If he is another job, or this is the only job that is offered in the market. He's saying that he has been looking, but he, there's no any job for him to buy money from his family. Yeah, the man can pay. Yes, you can. But yes, I'm sure from the whole of the world, it's not easy. It's not easy. Because Gaza is on the stage, he can't find anything to walk to do except doing this and getting his kids every day. Amrhum al-tukh alaykum? Yehud? Amrhum al-tukh. Yeah. When when they go farther, the they shoot them. في يوم التضامن العالمي مع الشعب الفلسطيني رسالتنا إلى كل أحرار العالم إلى Whoa, that was a fucking bullet. That was a bullet, and they're firing bullets now. It's obvious to it's obvious to him that they know who he is, 
clearly he's no threat. Does yeah. he think, what, do they do this for fun, or what, what does he think? Just they, they was feeling so bored, and they just want to, you know, like, shoot them and feel that they are having some fun. Yeah, he's the only one that um, uh, walk and g uh, give money to his family. So now there's, uh, they can't get any more money. And as you see, he can't move or get any stones or get any money. Or anything. So that's it. How old? How old are you? He's 15. 15 years old. And you were shot in the in the in the leg. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, two shots when he was getting down, two shots here. Mm. Yeah. What, yeah. What, what does he, what do you want? Uh, what, what, what would you like? What, would you, what do you want to see happen? Aside from the obvious for the blockade, do you, what do you want for Palestine? 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 We want to return to the land of the land, as it was. We don't live in the land, no war, 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 no war. He wants to, to get his land back and start to walk on that land, his land, to go farming, to go do, do whatever he wants, to live uh, like other people in the world, to feel safe in his own land without even shutting anyone and protect them, anything like that. And what is he, how does he feel about the Israelis? كيف إيش إيش yeah. Uh, he's saying that he's, say, he's saying that the only thing that he wants just to tell them that, that he's not a threat to him. He's just being here to to get money and food to his family, and he just want to be safe and want them to get out and leave him, you know, doing what, the thing that provide his family the the money, and he's not a threat to them. Thank you, my brother. I, I, could we possibly maybe? Come see him and his family, and just say hello and see how they're living. Hello, brother. Is this mom? Yeah. He's saying that he used to walk in Israel in areas before, but after the intifada, he sat down in, the, in his house, and because um, he can't provide any money to his family, he and also his son used to go to collect things, but um, and and they get and they get the money to buy milk for his little kids. He have little kids and he have a baby, and he have to provide them food and and milk. But even after what have happened to his son, now he can't get any more money. And it really did affect him so much, and now he feels so sad and depressed because first his son have been shot, and second he don't know what to do, how to get his 16 members and family any food, any money to provide them with a certain kind of good life. <laughs>
Reported Gaza is uh, a family like this, uh, 11 and 12 year old collecting stones to get 20 shekels, which is pennies in Western terms. This is happening every day. Actually, the Israelis have warned Hamas, don't let anybody collect any more stones. So, one of the very few uh, ways for people to get income is being cut off. And again, this is not being reported in the West at all. Um, we met a young boy today, 15 years old, shot recently. In the last uh, three weeks, 22 people have been shot doing this type of work. Um, in the last, uh, since March of 2010, about 97 have been shot. Again, none of this is getting reported. It's just daily life in Gaza. <laughs> 